This section, we're going to focus on spatial analysis. Uh, again, unlocking insights from your data using spatial analysis. And we're going to show some brand new tools at 10.5. And I'd like to set the stage for this by first showing another video of another case study. So we saw the Cal OES one uh, earlier, and we had some great takeaways from that one. But in this one, we got some different takeaways, and they do some really neat analysis that really everybody, all of us here, could uh, take advantage of. This is a great success story from Walgreens. My name is Jillian Elder. I'm the director of our enterprise location intelligence team at Walgreens. Our enterprise location intelligence group is well placed right in our corporate strategy organization. What this means is that we're well positioned in order to service a bunch of the divisions throughout the company. So we end up partnering with divisions across the entire company to improve upon the information that's going into their decisions. Understanding our customers, where they live, where they work, why they're shopping us is the core of what we do and that's in many ways a spatial question. Our work and our, and our spatial analysis and our mapping technology is, is centered around serving customers. Walgreens has started an initiative to offer flu shots at nearly every location. And with a, a network of 8,000 stores, we really have the ability to identify sales trends of products that are relating to flu. And with that, a flu index was created. Now the way we get this data is we use our prescriptions for antiviral medications. And that for us is our best indicator of flu activity because generally speaking when someone has a positive flu test, uh, they are getting prescribed an antiviral to help treat it. When we combine that in with our mapping applications, we were able to, before the CDC could report on it, understand where flu was happening throughout the country. It was very important for us to have a simple mapping platform that would illustrate what we were showing in the flu index each week. What the CDC does is their data is reported on a two-week lag, whereas inside of a week we're able to turn around data. So I think that you know, that really helped us in terms of the credibility of the flu index because ours was, was closer to real time and, and I think that was very important. What we've been able to do is show people how important having that spatial lens on our information and on our analytics is. Walgreens is a 24-hour company. That means we need to be able to provide data on any device, at any time, anywhere. So many of the important decisions that we make within our company are based on location. Where stores are going to be, how we want to merchandise those stores in terms of the items we want to have in those stores. And all of that is, is really driven by the wall map tool that we have. Wall map allows us to provide spatial solutions to people that aren't experts in GIS, so we were able to deploy solutions that are, are much more user-friendly and easy to learn. We made it broad-based, so all of our data is there and very easy to turn layers on and off and to have some basic dashboarding so that anybody here at the company can consume Walgreens information in a map format. Mergers and Acquisitions uses WallMap on a daily basis. Each of our managers are responsible for territories across the country, and they use WallMap to identify competitor locations. We look at distances, we look at population of certain Walgreens trade areas, we look at demographic information and how that can play into the business retention that we expect when we purchase pharmacies. For our users that go out into the field, we needed WallMap Pro Mobile, and what that really does is allow people to use any sort of mobile device when they're out in the field so that they can look at data about our stores right there. Now we can actually have a tablet that follows us as you go, the map pans as you move, and I can go ahead and take inked notes against an aerial background, against a map background, against a market share background, uh, against our stores over the top of our competitors right there out in the field. What's amazing about the GIS platform is not just all the data that it can aggregate, uh, but its ability to display that to make it easier for executives to understand what's going on and make the right strategic choice for the company. At the core of how people behave is geography. And strategically having a geocentric approach and thinking locationally and geographically is huge. If you're not, you're missing something. Right, so that's a really powerful video for me. It really totally motivates me, and I'd like to just go over a few of the different takeaways from this. So first of all, um, did anybody notice what Jillian Elder's title was? She speaks right at the beginning and throughout the thing. Anybody notice what her title was? 
So she used to be the GIS manager, but her title now is Director of Enterprise Location Intelligence. Okay? <laughs> so she has elevated, you talk about unlocking value of GIS in her organization, she has not only elevated the technology, she has elevated herself and her career to a whole new level. She is up with the directors of that company, and you saw all of them talking about the value of GIS in the spatial um, information that it provides with the decision that is made to run that company. So this is a smart company. They're one of the leaders for a reason. They've been around for over 100 years. Makes me want to buy Walgreens stock. You know what I'm talking about. So um, what, what Jillian has done is really the ultimate uh, accomplishment. I mean, what she has done is elevated GIS up to the maximum potential that Walgreens can extract from it. If you talk about unlocking value in your organization, it's getting executives to understand the power of it and want to use it themselves. And that's what she's done. She's really incredible. I contacted her after I saw this video, and I run a session at the user conference called the GIS Manager Summit. And I got her to come and speak, and it was great. And she did great Q&A and, and everything. So you talk about unlocking value, that's the ultimate right there at Walgreens, and Jillian should be our role model uh, for all of us. So they're using uh, ArcGIS to power spatial intelligence or spatial analysis that provides that location intelligence. They've written enabling everybody. They're talking about putting a spatial lens on their, on their data. They elevated it to an enterprise strategic system. Um, they've mastered effective data management. They're pulling in um, information from 8,000 stores, prescriptions and all that, and they're able to chunk that down to that flu index um, across the country a week ahead of time before the CDC which is the government agency is designed to do that, right? So it's pretty incredible. And I know all of us um, can find that whether we shop at Walgreens or not, we find that flu index information um, important so that you know when to get, make sure you have a shot so you don't get the flu. But anyway, they're providing real time, easy to use access on any device. So you want to talk about a, or see a, a customer that give us some, something to shoot for that's unlocked all the value of ArcGIS. I, I love that Walgreens story.